This video will demonstrate how to connect a twist-on BNC connector to coax cable. The process is the same for both RG59 and RG6 coax cable types. We will use RG59 in this video. Here's the piece of RG59 coax cable that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use a TL22 wire stripper. The inner blade is actually on the bottom of the tool, and if I insert the coax so that the end is about flush with the edge of the tool, it cuts it to just the right length. So I'll give it two or three spins around, and that's actually making two different cuts in the cable, which you'll see in a second. The top one strips away both layers, revealing the inner core of the coax, and the second cut uh, just cuts away the rubber uh, shielding and leaves the copper braiding. That, that's important, you'll need that. Just peel that copper braiding back. And then the perfect length from the core to the edge of the uh, rubber casing that was cut is about 9 16 of an inch. That works out to be about perfect for the BNC twist on connectors that we supply. And you can tell if you push it on like that, you can just barely feel that inner mouth grab the core of the coax. That's how you know the length is just right. But again, 9 16 of an inch, I've tested a bunch of times and that's about perfect. Uh, push it on and give it about 9 or 10 clockwise spins. You don't have to over tighten this. Um, actually, if, if you spin it too much, you could damage the core. So just until it gets to be pretty tough to turn further and then give it a couple tugs to make sure it's snug. And that's it. That's a good connection right there. To learn more about how to attach BNC twist-on connectors to RG59 coax cable, and for additional information about the BNC connectors and wire stripping tool used in this video, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com/bnctwist. Thank you for watching.